Brett, you look great. How are you feeling? Oh, a long day, Mr. President. A uh, long week. They tell me you've been here since the morning, in with McGann. Yeah, for the second day in a row, sir. That takes strength. It's not really the hours, sir. Well, I thought we might get out on the golf course, but Sarah said it was a bad idea. It's like a prison, this place. Sir, there's something I need to discuss. Good, good, because there's some stuff I'd like to chat about as well. Actually, sir, before we get too far, I, I want you to know, uh, <clears throat> I am prepared to vacate the nomination. I am so glad I was daydreaming right now, because if I hadn't been, I might have heard you say you were ready to quit on me. I feel awful, Mr. President. I hope to God no one else has seen this level of weakness from you. Here I thought you were one of the smartest, one of the finest men anyone has ever known. Excuse me, sir? Let me ask you a question. Yes, Mr. President. Did you spend my entire campaign in a fucking coma? I know you had your struggles. They came after me six ways from Sunday. They said I was Putin's puppet. They called me a racist. They even claimed I boasted about grabbing women by the pussy. Respectfully, sir, th there was a videotape of you saying it. No, no, the voice doesn't sound right. Fudged. We have experts putting together a report. Everyone will see. Yes, sir. You know, Brett, my daughter Ivanka was in the room with me when I heard that tape for the first time. I didn't know that, sir. Imagine the pain it caused me. Ah, uh, well, well, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. What did I do? Did I quit? And Mr. President, I, I will say, I, I don't even remember being at any parties like the one this woman said. 36 was... years ago. Who can remember 36 years ago? Uh, I mean, it was 1982. 1982. Are you kidding me? It's like ancient history. So you can see how difficult... Actually, just between you and me, I do remember spending quite a bit of time back then at Lake Club in Midtown on the east side, the VIP lounge on the second floor. You know, some of those women there, they were all tens. You should have seen it. The mini skirts. I'm sorry, sir. I'll tell you, it's hard to forget. The feeling of your hand going up the leg, and then you just grab it. The sheer power of it all. Oh, I can remember like it was yesterday, this morning even. You and I know, Brett, that's not the kind of feeling a man easily forgets. I, uh, I'm sure there's a lot you can't remember from those days either, sir. Well, hell yeah. I mean, it was 36 years ago. I think Senator Hatch is right, Mr. President. I think this Dr. Ford is just mixed up. There you go. This is no time for quitting. You follow the same playbook that got me elected president. Sir? They come after you with some made-up bullshit, deny it, attack it. They come after you again, double down, deny, 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 attack, attack, attack. I know that's worked in the past. This woman told a shrink you tried to rape her? What's she seeing a shrink for in the first place? Should I, should I maybe talk to your press team about strategy? She hasn't stopped thinking about you for 36 years and you can barely remember her. Talk about a woman scorned, hard to rely on her testimony. Do you see the approach here, Brett? Well, it's something like when they called Anita Hill, a little bit nutty, a little bit slutty. Bingo! And it rhymed. Now you're talking. You hear what Mika calls this blazy woman on Morning Joe? The survivor. Survivor? By the time we're done with her, they'll be calling her the apprentice. Yes, sir. That's a joke, Brett. Lighten up for Christ's sakes. Oh, yes, I see. <laughs> I see, sir, indeed. Holy moly, I thought you mixed had a sense of humor. Ha, <laughs> yeah, yes, we do, sir. Well, good then, because there'll be a lot of Democrats to laugh at when we get you confirmed next week. Thank you, sir. You can thank me when I come asking you to repeal the 22nd Amendment. I'm sorry, sir. That's the one that says presidents can only serve two four-year terms. Actually, sir, the Supreme Court doesn't repeal amendments. That's it was a, a joke, Brett. A fucking joke. Now get out of here before I dump you and nominate Jeff Sessions. That'll teach the liberals to mess with Trump. Good night, sir.